his artwork, Elder Lord. Mm -hmm. you, got, you, you got two people who are on psychotropics, but the children going to be fine. Why? They'll be raised by Rome, the state, the ten horns. Give peace a chance. What do peace mean? It says, February 28th, 2022, we members of the Club of Rome condemn in the strongest possible terms the Russian invasion of Ukraine and believe all efforts must be made to prevent war and any nuclear conflict immediately. We can call upon our leaders on all sides of this conflict. So how do the Club of Rome, how are they, how do you see them eventually bringing forth this peace? I know how. I think those things were written on the Georgia Guidestones. Let's help the world. Let's help the world. Let's bring peace. Maintain, maintain humanity under 500 million people. Folks, this, this, this is, is on the Georgia Guidestones, folks. But this initiative came out of the Club of Rome. But yet, why is it in America? Why is that? Why is these guidestones in America if these initiatives came from the Club of Rome? Right? Because this is their plan for America, for the world. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. That nature thing, boy, don't it make you feel good? But, but what they're not telling us is who must die in order for humanity to, <laughs> to maintain itself with 500 million people. Who must die, folks? So they want to go down from what? 3 billion to 500 million? That's a lot of people. Guide reproduction wisely. God, reproduction, you talking about how we have children? So maybe the campaign for the last two years would mean less children in the future? Improving fitness and diversity. Okay, so the people who are out of shape isn't going to make it in that number 500 million. Obviously. They have people growing obese so that they can die off early. They push in the food and the poisons in the food to bring the earth down to this number. So there'll be no obese people or overweight people out of this 500 million. And diversity, which means diversity means except immoral sexual behavior and unions outside of God. Unite humanity with a living new language. One speech, Elder Lawyer? The whole earth during the Tower of Babel was of one speech? What? Rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things within tempered reason, which means we will control your passion. We'll let you know how much faith you can have in any particular religion. You will follow the traditions of the state and it got to be tempered within what? The new world view for earth. Folks, I, this morning I was up reading the club of Rome and, and, and the root, the truth, the people that are over it, folks, you wouldn't believe they're doing this and, and the world is allowing it. They're doing this right now. Last year was a part of it. They started a long time ago, folks. They ramped this thing up ever since civil rights. And that's why they came with Roe v. versus Wade and all this whole other stuff and made reproduction rights, <coughs> what? An option predominantly within black communities. They started this a long time ago. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. In a what? A world court. What of sovereignty? That means the Supreme Court will have no teeth.
the Supreme Court will be aligned under a world court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. There'll be no more need for judges over sovereign countries. There'll be no need for politicians. They will all be ruled from where? The EU. They'll all be ruled through the governing body that has already, brothers and sisters, been established. It's already established. What they're doing now is di dismantling all the countries that are left with any level of sovereignty. Balance personal rights with social duties. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, this is a nice way of saying what? Community service. Your personal rights will be balanced with social duties. Jail. You will work. <laughs> social duties, which means you'll have a responsibility to keep the earth right. And you know what? We'll have a nice little place you can live in as long as you do your part to help the earth. We'll put you in a box. Okay. Prize truth. Beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. The infinite, brothers and sisters, is Lucifer. Lucifer. You must be in harmony with Lucifer's ideology for the earth. Now, they will decide this. Be not a cancer on the earth. That means what? These are they who would resist the new world order. Leave room for nature, which means no more energy that they deem unclean. No more cars. Only the rich will have cars. Only the rich will have nice houses. Only the rich, only the powerful will have privilege. But we must leave room for nature. Now, I got some things I'm going to go into tomorrow, but let's finish reading and identifying the prophetic times of the ten horns. I said we're in the last hour. Let's prove that. Yes, sir. Verse number nine. Yep. And here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Rome. Read. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen and one is. Come on. And the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. Now, here's the era of Christians. They believe these were people. When it was talking about empires, kingdoms, adjoining states of Rome, adjoining states of Rome. And it says, it was talking about what? Read it again, Elder Lawyer. Verse 10, and there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And the other is not yet come. Read. And when he cometh, he must continue, continue a short space. He shall continue a short space. It's talking about the empire that would come out of the ten horns, America. America would have a what? A lesser time span in power compared to all other empires. So what is Christ showing John in the vision? A kingdom coming out of the ten that would last only a short space, America. With the ideology of Babylon, because that's where Rome got its ideology. See? Read. Verse 11. And the beast that was and is, even it is not, even he is the eighth. Even he is the eighth. And is of the seven. And is of the seven. And goeth into perdition. And will go into perdition. Eventually, get destroyed. That's the future. 
because America was never built. It was never created to last up until what? Crisis return. It wasn't made for that. It was made to take the focus out of Rome and let a new country do its dirty work. And to utilize the slaves that were here to bring forth and build the new tower like it was under Nimrod. This place is ran like a corporation, not a country for a reason. It's a corporate creation out of Rome that was, that was created according to Christ's vision to only operate for a short space. Why? Because there's no national unity amongst the people within it. Look at the book of Revelation. It's clear in the book of Revelation. Revelation means to reveal, to reveal. You can't have a country with all these different ideologies and, and, and ideas where the people and its citizens are contrary to one another and hope that the country lasts. That's an impossibility. See? Come on, finish reading. Verse 10. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. One, one, one what with the beast? One hour with the beast. They receive no kingdom as of yet, but the ten horns will have power. They will have power one hour with Satan. What does it mean one hour? Now, before we go into the one hour, let me, let me tell you what else is going on over there before we break down. Over here, going back to the EU, the EU and the Ten Horns, they have just turned on CERN to its highest. They will soon turn on CERN to, to its higher, to its highest level. The European Organization of Nuclear Research, CERN, which is also controlled by the EU, the Ten Horns to open up spirits that will eventually destroy the earth and consolidate power to make it where all power is consolidated back with Europe. This is why they got everyone in America on psychotropics, families being separated and all of that, knowing that eventually Americans and people in America are going to kill one another. They're going to turn this thing on and the spirits are going to link in with the technology, 5G and all that. And you're going to hear about more crime, spontaneous killings of people. You're going to have people waking up, killing their own family members. You're going to hear about all this because they are doing what? They're opening up CERN and driving the people in America mad on purpose to dismantle it. Now, there's a whole story, but I have to wait until tomorrow for that, for the CERN story. That will be a part of the story I'll deal with in the academy. But let's focus on the time of the Ten Horns when it talks about one hour with the uh, with the Ten Horns. Read that again, other lawyer. Verse 12, And the Ten Horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Now, how long... Will the ten horns rule? The one hour, brothers and sisters, is what? Is it a physical hour? What verse are you at, Elder Lloyd? I'm going to let them see this. Verse 12. Get Romans 13 and 11 for me. Let me show, brothers and sisters, we usually do stuff like this on the academy. Y'all getting an extra treat today. <laughs> Right? Y'all are getting a little extra treat today. Pu let everyone know how much time we have here, folks. Right? Let me pull this down. 
And I expect a lot of you to become a part of this academy, folks. What y'all do in the academy and what y'all do to support us go a long way. Somebody got to prepare knowing the times. I'm right here. Elder Lawyer, read it again for me. Revel uh, Revelation 17, verse number 12. 17, verse number 12. Let's get 12 for them. We're right here, brothers and sisters. 